Here with Andy Fisher after the 10-1 victory over Long Eaton United today. Andy, what did you think of the game? Um, first of all, credit to them, I'm going to say. I know that's, that's easy to say when you're 10-1 and, and people are going to raise their eyebrows. But credit to them, they, they really worked hard. Um, and it's tough for them at the moment. They're not, they're not, you know, they're not getting the results and they're being beat week in, week out. And, and they, they've not, they've not stopped running. Um, so I wanted to give credit to them and their management team. I think they had a few development team players in there as well today. So I think it was just one of those games. It was done by half time when you're sixing up. It's, it's. Um, it's hard to then come out second half and, and, and keep the momentum that we had first half. But first half display was great. We made a, we made a lot of changes and rotations, you know, after the, the, the three games in eight days, and with one eye on the FA Cup. So I think it was what, what we expected. First half display was great. Second half was just one of those, you know, get, get, get the job done and finalise it and finish and get the three points. So, um, mix, mixture of two halves really. And we conceded here today. Is that sort of a disappointment for you at all? Yeah, massively. Yeah, mistake again. And um, but listen, as I've just said, it was because um, we came out a little bit, you know, a little bit flat and a little bit complacent. In the second half, we made some changes, changed the formation quickly, um, just to give players some game time. It was unsettled us a little bit, and that's what happens. You're six and a half time. It's hard to go into the changing rooms and go, you know, go to the girls, go and go and go and match that first half, and that's what it was. It made it made it a little bit tough for us, and that's where you. you Unfortunately, you concede a goal, and we've got to learn from that a little bit. Um, and that's been a massive, massive thing for us to focus on. Um, is that no team are going to let off, and that's why I said Lung Eaton they didn't stop running, even when they're six 0 down. They were, they were pressing us and pushing us at the back line. So one of those. And there's a lot of changes to the starting eleven today. Is it sort of pleasing for you to see that they can still do a job, even when it's possibly not our, start, our strongest eleven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't say necessarily. Yeah, I wouldn't say strongest eleven. I think if you would say to me who is who is the strongest. 11 it's 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 a mixture isn't it because I think and I think we've got such a big squad of quality and that's what's going to potentially keep us in contention for being in the top three this season and, and can go far in particular cup competitions is that you've got players who can come in and, and do just as good job as, as the other player and that's that's important so I'm pleased with the performances of the road the players who we've rotated in the first half performance from, for me it was great and some good football so yeah really pleased with that rotation. Brilliant well thank you for your time today Andy and congratulations on the win.